<laughs> Look at that. <laughs> that is incredible. Hi everyone, welcome to Backyard Share Farm Rick. Today we are doing an unusual one. We're making a Cumberland sausage apple pie. Does it work? Yes, it does. The apple pie filling inside is the, more or less the same as an apple sauce. It works very well. Pork sausages, apple in a pie. Let's do it. Come on. Now, veggies for this are very straightforward. I have an onion and some leek. And we have four Granny Smiths. If you could use Bramley's or anything like that. Fine. Normally I would just use onion but I've got a couple of leeks which are turning look so we're going to use the leeks as well. Put that lovely favour through there so we don't want those ends. I'm going to trim that off as well. They're yellow and rotten. About half a centimetre slices. Just bash on until you've done it. Fantastic. In a bowl. Lovely. Like I say, I'm using a small onion as well. Normally for this job, I would probably use just onion. I mean, you can use shallots. You can use anything you like, to be honest. We just want that oniony flavour in there, you know. Veggies done, leek and onion, one side, put a pan on. Now as per usual on this channel, in there with some water, in there with a little bit of oil. For all the people that have been with me, you know about the sausages, boil and fry. For all the people who are just joining, sausages, water in there and oil. Put your sausages in. What happens is you cook your sausages by rotating round in boiling water and when the water evaporates the oil takes over and we brown. The reason for cooking the sausages like this the filling inside swells up and maximizes the content of the sausage. It's as easy as that. So once you get your water boiling look, just turn over your sausages and you will see before your eyes that the sausages will plump up with the filling inside. I already have some prepared mashed potato. Just turn them over and they will have an even cooking all the way through. Now just be careful because don't forget it is boiling water and it does have a tiny bit of oil in. Okay, the water's nearly evaporated out of there, look. So now we're going to put a little bit of brown on those sausages. Okay, and once you've fried your sausages to how you like them, which is just basically a little bit of colour on. Out they come. We want some butter in that pan. About, about that much. We're just going to sauté off the onions and the leek. Nice and gently. In it goes. Now whilst that's sautéing nice and gently in there, we're going to take our apples, we're going to peel the apple, and we're going to slice the apples. So just peel away any which way you like with a knife or an apple peeler until you've peeled your apples. Nice and steady. Do all your apples. Whilst you're doing that, a little stir on your onion and leek. Having a nice gentle cook on there. We're not trying to brown it off. Nice and gentle. It's 
So it's just nice and straightforward. Just core up your apple for slicing. We don't want the core, obviously. Chuck your slice apples in there as you go along. Start to cook your apples in there with your leek and onion. I'm going to chuck in a little bit of salt in in a minute. A little bit of salt going in there. A little bit of pepper. Black pepper. Use white pepper if you so wish. Nice and steady, give it a little turnover. Start to soften up those apples in there. Want about five minutes on this, just softening everything up. And then we're going to chuck some sugar in. And we're going to chuck some cinnamon in. Okay, we want about two, two tablespoons of brown sugar in there. And we have got some cinnamon. In it goes. Fabulous smell. Oh. I am just going to hit that with a little, little splash of water. Just to help all that cook in there. Nice steady cook, flame not too high. Just soften up that apple, get all that sugar dissolved around everything in there. We should have that usual tart sweetness of an apple pie. Okay, when you've got it nice and soft, but we still want some firmness in those apples like that. That's enough, we need to turn off the flame. That is our filling, our apple filling done. We're just going to put that to one side while we slice up our sausages. So it's just a nice little slice on our sausages. Now I'm coming thin and long like that because I want it to sit in amongst the apples. Now you can be as chunky as you like, that's up to you. Sausages prepped. Let's put this together. Come on. We've got a tray, straightforward oven tray, and we've got a dish we're going to put it in. Stick the oven on 180 degrees. Let it do its thing. Let's prep this up. It's going to be a straightforward prep on this. We're going to chuck all that in there. Literally just chuck it in. We're going to do that. Finesse. <laughs> and then we're going to take our sausage in there. Class me when I come to put these things together. Mix your sausage in with your apple mixture. Make sure there's enough sausage dotted around because when you scoop it out, you don't want to be just scooping all out apples. Now that looks absolutely phenomenal. Our breadcrumbs, some mel melted butter in there, little stir over, let your butter mix up with the breadcrumbs. Now there's nothing fabulous about these breadcrumbs, they're straightforward panko breadcrumbs or panko style breadcrumbs out of the packet. I've not even crushed them or done anything, they're just as is. Right, breadcrumbs on there. You can put the breadcrumbs on top of the mashed potato if you so wish. This time I'm going underneath. Mashed potato. So what we're looking at here with the breadcrumbs underneath it's not going to be crunchy crunchy underneath with the breadcrumbs however the juices that come up 
it's going to soak into that underneath the mashed potato. <laughs> Take yourself a fork, bring your mashed potato towards the edge. Don't squash it, quite loose. And if you can, get used to the idea of leaving the peaks on the mashed potato and not running out a nice smooth design. That way the peaks crust up. They take on a bit of that crustiness in the oven. Cheddar cheese. Come on. Pork apple cheese. Whoa. Marriage. Absolutely <laughs> fabulous. Okay, in the oven. Probably about 20 minutes actually. 25 minutes. I'm going to set it for 25 minutes, but it's probably going to be done before that. Okay, all we're looking for is a nice crusty top because it's already cooked. So that's had a good 20 minutes in there. Look at that thing. That smells incredible. Right, we're just going to have to give it about the usual, about seven or eight minutes. Let it cool a little minute and then we're going to cut into it and we're going to serve it up. Okay, I think we need to be cutting through the top of this. Let's come through the cheesy top as usual. So we... And you know why we cut through the cheesy top? So when we scoop it out, we don't take the whole top off. Here we go. In. Scoop. Out. Oh, look in here. <laughs> look at that. <laughs> that is incredible. Just look at that. That is absolutely superb. That is Cumberland sausage and apple pie made. Just on a little tad of gravy. That is absolutely <laughs> phenomenal. Look at that. Wow. We're looking at something really, really unusual. <laughs> wow, come on, let's get in here. Sausages. We didn't make them, but they taste fantastic. Let's taste this combination. Wow, it's a bit warm. So we've got that apple pie. We've got that apple filling with that Cumberland sausage, a little bit of mashed potato. Absolutely unbelievable. That really is good. And we've obviously got our cheddar cheese mashed potato top and the breadcrumbs was underneath to soak it all up. Oh, come on. Heaven. That is absolutely incredible. We've got the apple, we've got the pork. Very minimal seasoning. Got that little bit of cinnamon flavour in there, which obviously is a warming flavour. However, it's only slight. This is exceptional it works really well if you like pork and apples and pork and apples they go together mm, that is truly amazing can be made with pork as well obviously but the cumberland sausages have got their own cumberland flavor going through there now this could be made with bratwurst or anything like that this is a superb dish if you like what we're doing don't forget Share, share with your friends, share all over. Tell everybody about this dish. It's unusual, but it works really well. Superb. If you like what we're doing, a big thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, ring that bell. Catch you in the next video.